G'day guys, Club Cara here again. We are going to be doing a little bit more gardening today. Today we're going to be planting silver beet. Um, now we had probably half a dozen plants through summer, late spring, and we collected our own seeds. So you just leave a couple of plants go and you'll get thousands of these seeds that store for a fair old while and um, all viable seeds. So um, today we've just sort of leveled out. I generally use a small level just to sort of see how level it is. You sort of want to make sure that when you're watering, the water doesn't just pull down, you know, or, or where the lowest point is. So you want a nice even distribution of water. Um, so basically we're just gonna plug a few seeds in here. Don't be overly fussed when you're doing this um, about how close they are. See, I'm doing them probably five, five inches or so um, apart. I'll put four in each one of these. Um, like I said, don't be overly fussed about it because you can actually start trimming these as they're growing and put them into soups, in your salads, boil them up with a bit of lemon and, vi um, lemon and oil, uh, plenty of little techniques and it's so healthy for you. Um, when you grow your own stuff like this, you know that it's had no sprays, no pesticides, no herbicides, nothing put on it. Because when you grow your own garden, if you've got a nice little area, you can actually um, let things go. If the pests attack a couple, well, move your bed around. Go to another bed and plant again and just leave some as sacrificial or just pick them, get rid of them. Do whatever you want. It's up to you. There's no rules. Um, as long as you're out there doing a bit of, bit of work in the garden and you're growing your own food, it's a great, healthy little lifestyle. So this bed, we've um, composted pretty heavily with some horse manure. Um, I think in spring, about six months ago, we put about a fair few bags of cow manure in here and some goat manure we got off a friend. Um, so it's had a fair bit of manure in here. Um, so this is one way we're going to do it here. We might actually, uh, just in a little trench like that on the other side, we might just plug a few in there and uh, see how it sort of pans out too fussed about the poo. Wash your hands after, obviously. All right. This is a bit more of a lazy. I'll just chuck a few in and just see what germinates, but generally, don't overdo it because you'll find that most of them will germinate. And then you'll be stuck with a million plants all stuck together and they won't grow that well. Yeah, they get all stunted. We've done that before where we've put too many. Yeah, we put too many and we didn't thin out, so I think the key really is to thin them out. And we'll do the same here. Make a little furrow here. Don't be too fast. We're sort of coming into uh, late autumn at the moment, so we're going to get a fair bit of rain coming soon. So we'll supplement our watering in between until the rains come, but last year we had a whole garden bed. Um, it was one if you pan over here towards the grapes, um, that was actually full of spinach. And, and beetroot. And beetroot, yeah. But half of that was spinach and we hardly watered it throughout the whole winter. And, and we you can eating, see, yeah. We just ate so much spinach and beetroot out of that bed. It lasted, I reckon, easy five months. Easy. And then it started going to seed and we just left it go to seed. I've got a quite a huge Tupperware container full of seed of um, spinach so so that's our silver bit planting for now and they've already got some coming up there they've got yeah they've, they've some fallen little off from baby the ones. Old, old bushes so <coughs> anyway um, get out in the garden and enjoy it and grow yourself some nice healthy produce organic don't use any sprays there's no need for it um, and if you can start off with a good heirloom uh, organic strain you will be able to collect seeds off your actual plants if you leave one go you'll have seeds for a long time and if you get more than what you need I mean share it give it away to your neighbors that's always a good good system anyway thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the uh, growing progress thanks